Hi everyone, my name is Joel Silva and welcome back to another Data in the Wild episode hosted by Data Mini. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to the channel below and click the bell to turn on notifications to be the first to know every time we upload a new video. Let's talk about comment and documentation. The documentation of a workflow serves to help developers and end users facilitating the use and understanding of the workflow itself, especially when it needs evolution and or maintenance. Documentation must be well done and easy to understand as it is essential for quality control and process. That being said, let's explore. That being said, let's explore the documentation tools that Autrix Designer offer us. You can click on the documentation tab in your Autrix Designer right here. And as we can see, we have three tools to do that: comment, explorer box, and tool container. Let's start with the comments tool. Use comments to add annotations to the project workspace. This is useful for jotting down notes and explaining processes. In the text field, enter the text to appear in the comment box or double click the comment box on the canvas and enter text directly into the box. just like that. You can specify the shape, the font, the background color, the text color, and also the text alignment. Let's use center here. And to see this configuration, we just need to click on the canvas. And here we are. To resize the comment box, point to a side or corner and drag to the desired size. Just like that. You can also select a background image for the text box. You can select PNG, GIF, BMP, or JPG image files. Let's use another comment tool to do that. We just need to click here on background image, specifically on the folders icon. And then select your image. And as you can see right here, that's the image on the canvas. To change the visibility of the comment box in relation to other tools on the canvas, right click the tool and select bring to front or send to back. Just like that. The next is the Explorer Box 2. Use Explorer Box to display a web page, file directory or file in an adjustable box on the canvas. Use the Explorer Box tool to display or link to a resource that explains or supports a workflow. In the configuration window, in URL, enter a URL, directory path, or a file path. The file types that can be displayed are PDF, HTML, XML, and 
txt and the height address bar is used to hide the address bar in the box on the canvas just like that you can also resize and reposition the box on the canvas by selecting the box to view its border and then select the border and drag the box to the desired location. And now let's see the tool container. Use tool container to organize tools in a workflow. You can use the tool to isolate a section or a process in a workflow. You can disable two containers to prevent the tools inside from running. You can also collapse them so they take up less room on the canvas. There are multiple ways to group tools in a container. The first way is select one or more tools on the canvas and right click and then select add to new container and the second way is drag the container tool to the canvas and place it near the tools you want to group and then select control select the tools and then drag and drop them in the container just like that to expand or collapse a container select the icon in the upper right portion of the container right here to delete a container without deleting the tools in it right click the expanded container and select delete container only just like that and to remove a tool from the container select the tool and drag it out of the container just like that Let's organize that and create a new container for this output tool here. Disable a container when you do not want to run a section or process in a workflow you are building. The disabled container remains expanded on the canvas and appears dimmed to indicate the disabled state. The tools within the container do not process data until enabled again. So let's try that. Let's disable this container here and then let's run the workflow. As we can see, this container and the two inside it did not run. To disable the container, you have two options. The first one I already showed here, which is select the toggle at the top left of the container so the slider is to the left and the other way is in the containers configuration window check disabled you can collapse a disabled container to hide its contents select the expand collapse icon within the tool container to do so just like that and also to enable the container you have two options the first is in the containers configuration window select deselect disabled just like that or select the toggle at the top left of the container so the slider is to the right just like that a container can also be enabled or disabled dynamically within an app or a macro via an action tool in the configuration window 
enter a name for the container in caption or double click the container box on the canvas and enter text directly into the box. The default text is container plus the two ID displayed in the ID field. So let's name that output step. Also, you can set the color theme for the two container. Select the three dots here next to the text color, fill color and border color and select a color to the palette or enter RGB values. Just like that. In transparency, enter a value or use the up down icons to set the color transparency. In margin, select a width to change the space between the two container border and the container tools. After that, just click on the canvas and you will see. And lastly, we can do annotations on tools. Annotations will appear in a small box underneath tools. Some tools display annotations by default, like the input here, the sort and the output in our case. You can change this or add them to any tool for useful reminders or more detailed descriptions of what the tool is doing. You just need to click on the tool, go to the configuration pane and click on the icon that looks like a luggage tag, which is called annotation. And then type in the annotation box. Just like that. Additionally, you can also check this box here to place annotation on the top of the tool. Just like that. But remember, to see these tools annotations, you need to ensure that the annotations option on the canvas options are configured as shown. To see this configuration, Click on any white part on the canvas to open the workflow configuration menu, which is this one right here. And then select the canvas, which is already selected, and check the annotations option, this one right here. You can also choose to see the annotations with two names or just hide it two names, show and hide. Another useful configuration is to set the connection progress option to show right here. This can help you keep track of what your tools are doing by displaying the number of records that each tool outputs. Let's click on the canvas and right here we can see the amount of records showing the tools. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to know when future videos are posted. Thank you for watching.